You are listening to socialtv.co.za with myself, Nuktula Quilla. In our top stories, a new book with explosive claims of the unholy struggles behind the pulpit has been launched. And $200 million MasterCard Foundation Fund for African SMEs launches. Starting off with our top story, the Anglican Church of Southern Africa versus Livingston Lubaba Longeu is an insider account of the battle for justice in the holiest of places by the son of a priest, accountant and committed church member, Dr. Tao Gabelo Herbert Mutsepe, a member of the Mutsepe Royal House from Kamakao. Canon Livingston Gale became the dean of the parish of St. Albans Cathedral in Pretoria at the beginning of 2007. Three years later, his persecution began when he opposed the unfair dismissal of a young priest resulting in trumped up charges against him. The 372-page dossier details an insider account of how Livingston Llewellyn Gale was driven out of the church to his death on trumped up charges because he dared to defy the diocesan bishop over the dismissal of the young priest. Retired Bishop Johannes Thomas Seoha had been accused of abuse of officer for his treatment of Ngeo and several others in the ministry amid further allegations of using church funds to litigate against its congregants and in court documents. Details of 500,000 rands loan from the church account for home in Centurion. Moving on to our next story, the Mastercard Foundation Africa Growth Fund has launched, which is a fund of funds that works through African investment vehicles to support early-stage growth-oriented SMEs on the continent. The goal of the Mastercard Foundation Africa Growth Fund is to enable dignified and fulfilling work for young people, particularly young women. The Fund of Fund is bold and catalytic, helping to crowd in capital for African entrepreneurs by strengthening and de-risking African investment vehicles that are committed to advancing gender equity in entrepreneurship. In addition to providing capital for investment vehicles, the MFAGF will offer a business development facility for their portfolio companies. The Fund of Funds initiative will use Gender Lens Investing GLI principles to help advance the MasterCard Foundation's Young Africa Work Strategy, which aims to enable 30 million young people in Africa, particularly young women, to access dignified and fulfilling work by 2030. So far, the Fund of Funds has recruited two investment vehicles supporting entrepreneurial growth, one in East Africa and one in West Africa. Save Our Schools non-profit organization hosted the Bear Tree, a community-focused activation, which aimed to share the joy of Christmas with underprivileged children. The activation shed light on the substantial water footprint associated with Christmas and the impact the festive season has on our water resources. With over 114 tons of plastic ending up in landfills, oceans and fresh water resources during this period. The Bear Tree activation was held at Bopelo Educare in Greifontein and welcomed 200 children between the ages of 0 to 5 years old from the five early childhood development centres Save Our Schools non-profit organisation supports. Donations received were from brands such as Sobe, Pick and Pay, AGT Foods, Cosmetics, Super Dry and Cheap ensured each child received a toy this Christmas season. Save Our Schools non-profit organization further spread the joy of Christmas by placing five decorated Christmas trees within each early learning development center. In our final story, ICT skills development is critical for South Africa to participate in the fourth industrial revolution for IR and to reap the benefits of the digital economy. This was the consensus of various speakers at Huawei South Africa's ICT Talent Development Annual Award Ceremony at its Woodmead campus recently. The event celebrated the higher education partner institutions and facilitators of the Huawei ICT Academy program, which was established to identify, cultivate and develop and the best talents through collaboration between industry, educational institutions and the public sector. Through the ICT Academy program, Huawei has partnered with 72 academics in South Africa to provide training, development and internationally accredited certification to instructors and students across the country. More than 150 instructors participated in the instructor training program, more than 3,500 students participated in online training programs and almost 5,000 students enrolled in this year's ICT competition. To recap our top stories, $200 million MasterCard Foundation Fund for African SMEs launches. For more CSI news, you can visit our website at www.socialtv.co.za.